Excuse the panting. I just threw a hundred pound hay bale in the back of the truck by myself and it was, it was hard. It was heavier than I was anticipating. Um, anyways, let's go do worse things. Did you know, mom, people miss you commentating on my vlogs? Hi. you haven't anymore. I do, I make, I video and I comment, you just never put it up. It's all on her. No. It's her fault. You don't her do. Her fault. Her fault. No, you're barely in them because you're not well, here. Well, what about the stuff I did yesterday? You can't and I cheated Chad Chatterson. Oh, I haven't listened to that okay, yet. Okay, I did. That doesn't count. Yesterday when I filmed, I did. I was... That doesn't count because I haven't wow. edited it yet, so they haven't seen it. Nope. This is who I got my autism from. <laughs> I never feel richer than when I have lots of hay. Like I'm walking around and I'm like, yeah, I'm like Bill Gates with my hay strapped for hay. There's Simpsy coming over as soon as he sees me because he's a mama's boy. A little nerd. Thanks, you're a freaking nerd. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, zigga zigga. That didn't work because Mace is now eating the food. I know. Jennifer, what is going on with your face? <laughs> just, I could braid this, it's long enough. I could make little patterns in her little. We should try that, that would be so much fun. I'll try to do like a little tiny mini braid. She's like, I ones. would prefer. Is the fence on? You electrocuted yourself? Pogo, you need to go away because you're not wanted right now. We want Mesa and Juniper. flavored waters so this is the turmeric one but I'm just refilling so it'll get less orange because I'm gonna fill it to the top. This is one of their favorites though and then they have regular water, regular water, salt water and then this is their favorite favorite chaste berry. Just look down at my hand and suddenly I'm bleeding everywhere. What the hell? So for my horse's water buffet, this is their chamomile water, this is the chase berry, and then this is rose water, and then I also have salt water, and then regular water, and then I also have the turmeric water. So this Anyways, is Anyways, how I often I cut myself when I'm out with the horses is why I keep polysporin, band-aids, and cleaning wipes in my truck. But, uh, I cleaned the one finger, but not the rest, because I'm going back out there. And this can be dealt with further when I'm inside. Pink. It's a yum. Mesa just had a taste of the chamomile water. Thanks, you swear to God. Why? Why? Seriously? Little shithead. Are you just trying to flood everything? There. Don't do it again. It's like, what if I did it again? He loves the chase fairy water, everybody does. It's like everybody's fave. Look, he's drinking the turmeric water. They love that one. I have to refill that one the most and the chase berry one. So it's interesting seeing what they like. Like in hindsight, I should make. Oh my god, bro. Don't do it. I have a little friend. Oh my god, he knocked the hose out again. Hi, GSP. She says, I am so nice now. I am just a little pet. I am just a little pet. I was tasting the Calendula water. Hey. I would appreciate it if you would stop that. Oh, look, his little calendula fakes. Oh my god, bro, why? Why are you the way that you are, my son? Pogo's trying the rose water again. Well, now, not again. This one I'm gonna add 
I'm gonna add aloe vera gel to this bin to make this aloe vera water. And then we're just gonna see what they prefer and base the size of the buckets and whether or not we keep doing it off of that. I am the most annoying man ever. Pogo and Banksy have tried every one now except for the aloe one because it's brand new. So now he's drinking the chase berry. So the interesting thing is that they'll kind of pick and choose where they drink from depending on the time of day and what they've had more of throughout the day. Um, so the fact that some of them might not try the others when they come up here can be based on that because they kind of just intuitively drink what they might. So my mom has been doing some work with Mesa and here she's working on the oral syringe. This is just an old dorm syringe that I'm using because it's the same type of syringe as like the oral dorm that we need to give her prior to vet appointments because she's quite nervous of the vet. Um, so we've just been practicing with that. She's way better on the right side, which is interesting because on the right side she has a blind spot in her eye. Um, but we practice on both sides. Juniper really likes the oral syringe, so we don't need to worry about that as much with her because she's really good at it. So she's working on other stuff now, um, like getting her mane prettified. So if you're interested in how to teach this behavior, the tutorial will be up on my Patreon. And also if you're interested in the treat bag my mom is wearing, it's from my store LinkedIn bio. Okay. Ready? See that? Look at that. Okay, now let Juniper have a try. Junis? No. Is yeah, she she's sticks her head into it. I know she does. Ready? Good go. Ready? Which one? No, it's Mesa's turn. Mesa! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. She's like, you are so, no, do it. It's just so stupid and silly. Okay, do you want to do it? Oh, you sit up. Okay. Oh. Ladies. Okay, Mesa says, I do it. Look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see it? Good girl. Oh, she oh. says, let me have it. She caught away me. Oh. Oh, Phoebe, is it so hard not being able to be in here? Why is she such a sucky bucky? She's a good girl. Aww. Hi, Mace. You're the suckiest little noodle in the land. Oh, she's doing it again. Yeah, she thinks that if she just puts her head in, if there's no halter that you're putting it into, but you're so funny. She says, I'm so nice. She's really leaning on my arm, too. Are like you I'm licking saying. my hand? A little taste? A little taste? So so I was doing a lot of groundwork with Milo over the winter and now I'm starting him back to ride. So honestly, a lot of my rides with Milo are just like hacking around at the walk and then we do some trot and we started doing a little bit of canter, but most of the rides we do are just walking and hanging out because uh, this is a really good way to build fitness with long slow distance and it's also just enjoyable for us and really low pressure and we go up and down hills and then for his groundwork I've been doing some lunging and groundwork up and down like small inclines and that's been really good for him too. And with Milo I've been using a pretty high rate of reinforcement still for riding because I'm still building back his enjoyment of riding and also building back his fitness and I just want to make it fun and enjoyable for him because that's really important to me and it's been working and he's coming back into work better than ever so I just want to keep things fun as he builds up his fitness. You'll notice that in a lot of clips I'm going up and down this hilly area of the back part of the property and it's because it stays the driest and it's also a nice like slow incline that's really good for building muscle and then I have like my trot poles right here. So we kind of just do like trot and a little bit of canter sets up and down this area and then as the ground dries out we'll have more of like a circuit that we can actually do but for the time being this is totally fine and we kind of just make do with what we have because it is a little difficult with how wet the weather can be for here um, especially when you're riding on grass. I like this. This be fun. Mm -hmm. 
silly boy. Oops. Yes, he's. Oh, he walked into. My friends. Oh, now Milo's like, that's enough. That's enough friendship. Learning how to carry a flag. Good boy. He's been very good. Come here, come here, Buffy. Come here. Going the wrong way. Good girl. He's being amazing. Look at his good self. Come here, Phoebe Dennis. Stay out of the way. Are you a flag? Stay with me, Phoebe Dennis. Good boy. <laughs> Are you smart? <laughs> 